If you go on YouTube and you search for any type of medical or physical and fitness advice, you're probably not gonna be surprised that experts have a wide variety of conflicting opinions. I think this is because the human body is very complicated. There's genetics, there's the placebo effect, and people tend to hold on to bad ideas with religious fervor. Unfortunately, you may also find that if you go on YouTube looking for anything related to off-grid energy or solar panels, you're gonna find experts with conflicting ideas as well. And you think that electricity, you know, with volts, amps, watts, it's basically just math. Two plus two equals four. There's no placebo effect. We should have this ironed out by now. But we don't. A lot of people disagree. Let's dig into that. Hello everyone, I'm Garrett Town. I don't like tooting my horn, but I do consider myself to be an expert on solar and off-grid energy, and at least a couple other people do too. I have some credentials. I have a very old graphing calculator. I have an electrical engineering degree. I've been working in the industry since 2009, and I've been running AM Solar since 2016. When I see experts that disagree on solar, I can usually lump it into at least, you know, a couple of uh, five different categories. Let's go into those. First of all, solar energy is a very broad field, like the medical field. If you've got something wrong with your foot, you go to a podiatrist, not a pediatrician. They're both medical doctors. They both start with PED, but uh, they, they do different things. They focus on different things. Like if you're working on a solar system for an RV, you don't go to a grid-tied solar expert. They're not going to be familiar with the type of inverters that you use, and they're used to dealing with code requirements that you don't have to deal with with RV applications. They're probably gonna charge you a lot more. They're gonna use different types of breakers, different types of combiner boxes. Uh, they, they're gonna be a little bit confused possibly by the lack of grounding options when you're working with something on rubber tires. If, you, if you're working on an off-grid solar system, go to an off-grid solar expert. If you ask a grid-tight expert about something off-grid, they may have an opinion, uh, but ideally they would uh, defer to somebody that actually knows more about the RV-type systems. Likewise, if you're working on a grid-tied system, don't come to me. I don't know anything about code requirements. I don't wanna know. I'm busy working on RVs. Different experts might serve different segments of the market. The reason I'm putting this video together is because of a disagreement I had with another uh, off-grid solar expert when I was giving a presentation at the bus fair. I was talking about how we don't like to use residential solar panels on RVs because they don't handle the road vibrations as well. The large spans of glass tend to flex under the road vibrations, which leads to micro fractures in the cells, which reduces the performance of the cells. And that's true. But uh, this other expert, um, his name's Chuck Cassidy. He's a great guy. He specializes on schoolie systems. He says, well, I use residential solar panels all the time and don't have any problems with them. And what it comes down to is we're both right. Here's why. AM Solar serves a very broad market, all of North America. We sell kits, DIY kits. We have installs coming here. Um, and you know, a lot of our installs are like high-end Airstream systems. And people that come to us, they usually want the very best. They want it to perform perfectly. Whereas if you're working in the schoolie segment, um, a lot of times you're piecing together a system yourself. You got a lot more DIY people involved. Uh, sometimes they're penny pinching a little bit more. And yeah, you can get a really good deal on residential solar panels. And maybe you don't care that it's gonna be a couple percentage points less efficient than a perfect uh, off-grid solar panel. So Chuck's right. Yeah, a lot of schoolies, it makes sense to have um, residential solar panels. I'm right. I don't think my average uh, Airstream customer is going to want to have uh, residential solar panels on their Airstream. It's going to make it look like a space station and they don't like the efficiency of it. So make sure that you know, you're know you talking about the same market segment with the expert that you're seeking out. Another reason experts may disagree is that they're not all up to speed with the latest technology. When I started working at AM Solar, we're, we were using brands of uh, charge controllers and inverters that are totally different than the brands that we're using now. A lot of the dealers we worked with really liked those old brands and they did not want to adjust to the new brands that we have. And you know, they I, I think about my dad, he's a boomer when I take him to uh, football games, you have your tickets that are on your phone and he's like, why can't they just give us printed out tickets? 
Well, I think a lot of these old installers are like my dad with tickets. They want this old technology that you just turn the little dial, get rid of that blue stuff. And they think a lot of their customers do too. So yeah, for some people, if you really hate Bluetooth or modern technology, then uh, listen to one of these old guys. Or, uh, you know, we'll do our best to stay current on the technology. And uh, right now I'm really liking what Victron and LifeBlue have to offer. Sometimes experts disagree because they have an agenda, and usually that's a financial agenda, and I can relate. I like money, but I'm in it for the long haul here. AM Solar has been in business since 2002, and part of our business model is that we provide free tech support to our customers for the life of the project. So we can't just sell stuff that makes us the most money up front. We have to sell stuff that's the best, Otherwise, we're going to be stuck with a lot of expensive tech support time. So I think we're on the right recipe and we're not biased to a financial agenda, at least not a short term one. I think that serves our customers well, but some other experts may have more of a short term strategy and maybe they're motivated by some company that's pushing them to push a certain product that maybe isn't the best product. Lastly, a reason experts disagree is because some of those experts are pseudo engineers. This is my favorite group. They leave nasty comments on YouTube videos. They uh, leave bad business reviews. And sometimes if they uh, give me a little spice, I give them a little spice back. You can see some of that in the blog linked in the um, description of this video. I think that uh, solar, especially off-grid solar, tends to attract a lot of crazy people and some of these people don't necessarily do all the math or think things through very clearly and then they get on YouTube and they say a bunch of nonsense. I like to think that I'm not one of them but uh, you can definitely find some if you dig around. So if you're looking for a solar expert, make sure the expert has expertise in the type of solar you need. Make sure that expert has experience. Uh, AM Solar's been around for two decades. We've worked on thousands of rigs, many different types of rigs, tiny homes, boats, etc. Uh, if we don't know an answer, we will find the answer or we'll point you in the direction of someone that will. I hope this helps.